sincere congratulations on being inducted to the Red Sox Hall of Fame. That's pretty cool. Good job. Yeah, Rob. I, I really do appreciate that, you know. And um, to be honest with you, man, um, n- now that I've received that, uh, I was taken back a little bit more than I thought I would. You know, I, I just – I just thought like ah, oh, this is another war, but no, nah, it was really it really was special to me. I just say that much. I mean, it's a, it's a cool thing and well earned. Is there a ceremony for that? In oh my goodness, you get a red jacket. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. It's a, Pap, it, I'm a Patriots. I'm a Patriots yeah. supporter, so I don't know about all this stuff. Yeah. But if you want, if you want good there'll gambling, be, there'll tips. be a ceremony. There'll be a ceremony, some gambling, and one goddamn dang good speech. Can I come? Oh, I like it. Can I get in the speech? Can you, can you integrate me in the speech? No? Um, <laughs> depends on how much time they give me, Rob. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, speaking of time, let's cut right, cut right to it. You tweeted about Verdugo. You tweeted about Cora. And I've got to be honest with you, Pap. I'm glad you did. Because it was, you know, you know Cora. You played with Cora. I've covered Cora as both as a player and manager. And, you know, so Verdugo, uh, did we, should we even, do we have, do we have that cut? The Verdugo cut? Anyway, um... So Verdugo went in his introductory press conference yesterday. This is what he said. I'm very, very excited to, to work with Aaron. You know, I've seen the way he has his back, like has his, uh, his, his players' backs. And, you know, the, the one that really gets out to me is when he's like, these, these guys are savages, you know, and he's yelling at the umpire. And, I mean, that's something I want to see out of my head coach, man. I want to see some fire, some fight for the guys. And, um, you know, I think – I think just instead of airing people out, you know, have their backs. And, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this fresh start and, you know, just to kind of get with the guys and, and really just, you know, just, just change the narrative, man. Go out there, play hard, work hard, and, and just have fun. And that's the biggest thing. All right, Pat, the floor is yours. Your thoughts. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, I tweeted what I tweeted. Um, so I think we know where I stand on this, but, you know, man, the, just the game doesn't have no place for this BS, um, you know, that calling each other out on, on, on stuff that isn't even really true. You know what I mean? So, to me, uh, there's a few things. You know, you would go play hard. Well, dude, you don't play hard, number one. Um, that's why you are not in a Red Sox uniform anymore. Um, and – you call yourself out, you know, in the media, we all know, man. And, and Rob, when I was playing, you know, I tried to beat y'all to the punch and call my cell phone. I, I, hey, I suck tonight. Yeah, TC and, and Jim Rice are going to talk about it. All they can tell them I suck, but we're going to go at it tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. And just hold yourself accountable. There's zero accountability here. And um, to me, you know, you don't – This to me, this is billboard material. And so the Red Sox will use this next year when they play the Yankees, I guarantee you. There's no question about it. And, um, you know, to me it's just it's bad all the way around, man. Just move on. Don't throw stones in the glass house, and that's what's going on, man. Well, Pap, you know, the first thing that I thought of was Alex Cora, if you talk to players who know him, this, isn't, this, is, this has never been a criticism. Yeah, you know, yeah, he yells at you when you need to be yelled at. But this idea that he's running around screaming at players, which is sort of the picture that was painted, you must have been like, what? What? Yeah, and, and, and here's the thing is, too, you know, uh, vertigo, as I call him now. That was my um, next question. What, what was that all about? <laughs> vertigo? You know what vertigo is? You don't know your ass. Oh, yeah, because you're crazy. You okay, all, all right, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if there was any any behind you know. the scenes there. If I just wasn't picking it up correctly, all right, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, no, but um, you know, the thing is, is that I know for a fact that Alex Cora goes to the grave for his players and his teammates. Um, and you're not, he, Alex is not a Mike Trout and Otani. He's not. He's not a, a premium player. That's why we got rid of him. You know, if he was a premium player and could actually affect a ball game in a good, positive way, you don't think we would have kept him and worked through some you – know, look what we did with Manny all those years. I mean, you have 
So that's the thing is, is like, keep your dang mouth shut. You're not really even that good. So why are you even like rehab? Like, you know, that doesn't make sense to me. To me, I I would expect him to be a little bit better to go off and start saying this about a former head coach. You know what I mean? The yeah. manager. I mean, so I think that because because you played with Cora and because, again, you've, you're around him and you know what it's about, and you've also played for a lot of different managers and you know the good and the bad, that it just seems like so weird that – and I, I, I know why he did it, Pat. I know why he did it because Cora did yell at him. You know why? Because he deserved to be yelled at. That's what it was. It's not complicated. Yeah, right. You know, it- and it's not like for me on my end. It's not like, um, hey, look, uh, I, I I have Alex's back no matter what. If Alex screws up, I let I will say it too. It's not it, you know. It's not like I'm best buddies with Alex Cora, and I'm having I. If this was Bruce Bochy, I'd say the same damn thing. It doesn't. So to me, uh, none of that has anything to do with it. Whether or not I I, I know Cora, or I don't know Cora. This guy is. It's just, I, I just, to me, the game is very special, especially now that I've retired and it becomes more special. And, man, you don't, you can't have this BS in the game, dude. Like, and like I said, man, the Red Sox next year, uh, when they do play the Yankees, um, I will be going on the old fan duel, Rob, and placing a few bets <laughs> on the Red Sox. That is indeed true. Oh, yes. I, I don't know if they'll have that prop bet of first player to get hit by a pitch. But yeah, I know that. Yeah, I like you. that one, Pap. Actually, so you think you think they should throw at them next time, the first time they play this year? Well, I will say this: that FanDuel will not have those prop bets up because <laughs> those are way too easily to obscure, yep. um, and cheat. Uh, but like I said in my tweet, uh, I would not mind if the Red Sox. Uh, re- you know, I'm not retired. Rob knows this. I'm not no, retired he has, yet. No, he is not retired. Oh, you haven't thrown in the papers yeah, you, yet. I'm huh? going to give you another chance. You want to retire right now? No, because if the Red <sighs> Sox need me for a, a, a one a one pitch uh, at bat against Verdugo next year, I, I need to make myself available. Oh, I like that. It is it is weird though, Pap. I, I don't want to go too far off the rails here. <laughs> too but late. But <laughs> you've you've hey, you're inducted. Hey, real quick, Rob. You you you. Right, real quick before that, you remember when Tito brought me in to hit Manny Ramirez because he was such a joker, and I came in, I threw at him like three times, missed him three times, and finally hit him on the fourth one. I don't. Now that you said it, I remember it. Sure, <laughs> but but it, it's yeah, it, yeah. But you've you're in the Red Sox Hall of Fame, and you haven't retired. You have been on the Hall of Fame ballot, and I don't think you're supposed to be on the Hall of Fame ballot unless you're retired. But you're so you're, but you still haven't retired. You sure you don't want to retire here? Yeah, I've, I, I, there's a loophole in there. I can't tell you about because then they'll get on to me. But, Ooh, all right, um, okay. They'll be on. Yeah, they'll, they'll be on to me. All right. Uh, but, so, last... like these are perfect situ- situations and scenarios where hey, you know, you know, Alex Cora might, you know, he might need a guy. You know, p- you know, they're pinch hitting for Verdugo. Oh no. Call him Pat. You know, I'll sign real quick. I can run in from the Nesson booth if needed. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Is see. there a clock on getting into the Red Sox Hall of Fame? Do you have to be out of the game for so many years? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, okay. I don't know. All I know is that Papelbon supposedly threw 92 for the first pitch he threw in the in the in the po- in the postseason game, right, Pap? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So he, he can still <laughs> he can still, still, still put, put it put it this way. He can still make it hurt. You yeah. can still make it hurt. Uh, last thing, Pat. I'm as good once as I'll always be, Rob. <laughs> Go, uh, shoot, baby, what? La- last thing. Last thing. The I know you're super excited about all the Red Sox moves. Okay? Give me – <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I, So, I, I'll just – again, floor is yours. Floor is yours, my friend. What's next? Okay, here's my whole synapses, and I'm going to take a, a quick picture for you. Um, I'm going to play, you know, Cinco Ocho's in the front office, 58's in the front office right now. Well, to me, at winter meetings, as soon as, like, as soon as I can start signing players, I'm going to try to get to those guys as quick as possible, put something on the table for them that is either slightly above market value or what they're looking for to try. If I really want that player, I'm not going to let a Shohei Otani sign – and then, oh, man, now you've done raised the cap 
effing seven hundred million. So now you've also put yourself in. You're behind the eight ball because now you got to compete with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just wish I just uh, the only wish for me. I wish they would have attacked a little bit earlier. But I know they're trying to bring Breslow in. They're trying to create. Um, what you know? What type of path we want to start going down here for the next two or three years? So I, I can't tell you what's in their minds, but if that's me, I'll try to be just a little bit um, more proactive, even before you know. I mean, everybody else. So you you get the first shot at them, so to speak. I like your way of thinking. I don't say that a lot, Pat, but I like the way you're, you're the way you're thinking. Good job. Good work. Um, are you are That's you going to be back with Nessa this year? I'll never be. Are you going to be back with Nessa this year? Well, that all depends on if they come back with me with that big multi million dollar contract. You know? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I, heard, I heard they're going full throttle with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. Full th- hey, hey, don't compare full throttle with Nesson in the Boston Red Sox. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a very <laughs> good right, point. All right. Pat, I appreciate your time. You're one of the best. Uh, and Merry Christmas. All right, man. Y'all uh, have a Merry uh, Merry Christmas, thanks, Hanukkah, Pat. Kwanzaa, whatever y'all celebrate, man. Merry, have a good one. You all right, well. man. I'll see you.